born five years ago, parents, both sets, orphans from interior Alaska. And my veterinarian, when he held this little furry treasure five years ago now, remember that, five years ago, of all things, he named her after the, the Egyptian goddess Isis, oh, Isis. Isis. for the Islamic thing. <laughs> so she goes by Isis. I can't change her name now. It's too much. Too much. Kids don't know what's going on in the world. This wolf has freedom. She runs free here. Most of these animals that you'll see, I swear you can count somebody's missing over all. You can see Mr. Stewart there. <laughs> these animals don't miss a thing. They know what's going on. To her, you look like a herd of caribou right now. <laughs> but after we talk for a little bit, she'll feel that you're a wolf. Uh, I have some carrots, organic. Lily. Uh, this silver color uh, kind of changed the world because Russian fur traders saw this fur and the Athabascans and the Clinket people had it here and they then came. Uh, just gonna calm her down just a little bit. She's getting very spicy. So she is about, um, Steve, how old do you think she is? Oh, yeah. Wow. Holy <laughs> it's crazy. This year is the year of babies. We've had so many babies with different animals. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know who Jeff? Well, he was here the other day, and we went down on the river. So funny, he was afraid of the mink. And it was running around on the river. Um, but uh, this little mink we had down on the river, and it was catching fish, and it was having so much fun. And I can barely get away from her. Uh, she is my baby. This is a hugely problematic issue, but thanks to the mink, we know about it. Uh, <laughs> Lennox, and he stays here for a time for uh, presentations, but 52 acres, we move them around. They go in different places, these animals. And a free, freedom, so important. Uh, <clears throat> there's a reason why this lynx is thinking of something else. The other day we had Jeff Corwin here, and we had another animal in here that is its mortal enemy. And the scent is still in here and it's concerned. The, uh, the rain has brought it back out. But get these natural pictures. In this group, how many of you have seen a lynx? <laughs> oh, the lynx and the wolverine are mortal enemies. Uh, the real Walt, okay. the real Walt Disney, he loved wolverines. And he included a wolverine as the villain in a show about lynx years ago called Lefty the Dingaling Lynx. Oh, you might see that movie. Let, those Callaways? <laughs> anyway, Wolverine, how many of you have seen one? How many? Nobody in this group has seen a Wolverine. Mario, see, this is why we keep doing it. All these years. 36 years of working with Wolverines. This is Banff the Wolverine. Banff and his brother Jasper. Born here eight years ago. The sixth litter of wolverines that I've raised in 36 years. Not very many, Mario. No, they don't breed in captivity. No. Um, now no. this creature, uh, early taxonomist, no. no. had no idea what it was. Uh, no. I thought, well, this is little because of it. I follow how they talk. I follow how they feel. Very important. If you do that, you dance around the wild, make sure you'll be fine. But apparently. I'm the only one that's ever worked this closely yeah. with Wolverines. No, this is when I tell history. you this is a world exclusive. I'm absolutely Apparently. correct. Uh, there's been others. Ow! Just go I'm file your teeth down. Yeah. Are you gonna? You I'm leaving you behind. behind. Okay, you're leaving me you by myself. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Boy. Okay, here you go. Come here. Here's one. There we go. Um, this creature can bite like a sewing machine. I gotta tell you. And she's cute, but don't be fooled. If she gets in the chicken house, she'll kill every chicken there, anything in the barnyard, she'll get it. Incredible predator. Kiska is her name. Kiska. Yeah. Guys, when you see it, it's quite stinky. Um, actually, it is a Mustelidae. Um, and this creature, there's a taxonomist at the Smithsonian Institute, and he says, he's done the calculation. He said if this creature weighed 60 pounds, there would not be one single living mammal species on the planet. They would have killed everything a long time ago. It's a good thing that it only weighs six ounces because it eats its own weight in meat every 24 hours. It has to eat every 20 minutes. Its heart rate is 900 beats a minute. Uh, that is the far fastest heart rate of any mammal on the planet. What is this creature? It's a namesake. It's a namesake. 
It's the namesake for the entire weasel family. It is a... It's a trick question. Yeah, it's a weasel. <laughs> this is a weasel. Yeah, this is a weasel. And the weasel uh, is actually known by the name, and very interesting, here's the name. Uh, Mustelidae is the genus, that's the family, stinky ones that carry mice. The, uh, the species name, and this is what, mm -hmm. and guess what? That's my grandma. Uh, it's too big now because then it'll, it'll, it'll get, you'll go crawl over that and grab my hand. Okay, okay, I'm, so if it jumps out, yeah, it's, don't it's, run. It's, and you guys gotta be kind of up here a little bit more. If it jumps out, mm -hmm. this lady's gonna get it. <laughs> it's actually going to leap over and by that guy's cap there. <laughs> it happens a couple times every year. Well, maybe. If it jumps out, don't <laughs> run. That's all I got to tell you. He's a bad growler. <laughs> you just give him a finger. That'll work just perfect. <laughs> Who didn't see it? Where are you, Where are you over there? Get over here then. <laughs> okay, okay. Watch, 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 watch. One. No, I can't do it. Come on. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. No, no, no. Come on. It's going to be a hey, hey, three. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I saw him. Where is it? a brown bear, or you could call it a uh, grizzly, or you could call it a Kodiak. All the same bear. I'm going to use the scientific name. This is Ursa arctos. This uh, Ursa means bear in Latin. Arctic means bear in Greek. So if Arctic means bear, what does Antarctic mean? No bear. That's exactly right. So the poles are named bear and no bear. The Arctic and the Antarctic. Um, now, this creature, uh, she came to us eight years ago, uh, and she is the result of an archaic trophy hunt which still exists here in Alaska. You can go out and pay an exorbitant amount of money to the state of Alaska, about 25,000, and you can shoot one of these bears to hang its head on your wall. Um, and in this case, the guy shot, he was supposed to shoot a male. 